Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 50. That is, what is acceptance testing? Let me answer. Acceptance testing is one of the levels of software testing. Software testing has four levels. They are unit testing, followed by unit testing, we perform integration testing, followed by integration testing, we perform system testing, and followed by system testing, we perform acceptance testing, which is the last level of software testing. And it is also known or called as user acceptance testing, UAT. Okay, either we can call that as acceptance testing or we can call that as UAT that is user acceptance testing to understand acceptance testing better. We need to compare the acceptance testing with the system testing. Okay, so in system testing as I already explained this in the by answering the other software interview questions, software testing interview questions in the previous session. Okay, in system testing, we'll be performing the testing of the application as a whole. Okay, complete system will perform testing as part of system, but in case of unit testing integration testing complete system or whole system will not be tested and also this unit testing integration testing is generally performed by developers okay they fall into the white box testing category but in system testing software testers will be performing the testing of the application but here they will be testing the application or software as a whole as a complete thing they will test but they will be testing only against the client specified requirements okay so software testers will perform testing of the given application or software in a complete manner okay as a whole they will test but they will only check whether the developed software is working according to the client specified requirements or not the main focus is on the client specified requirements are satisfied or not in the developed software they will check but the less importance or less focus is given to the user needs and expectations what the users are wanting in the software okay how the users will like the software to work that is missing in the system testing case. Okay, that's not performed or not focused well on the system testing part. So that's why after the system testing is com uh, completed, that is after software testers co confirm that the developed software is working properly against the or uh, properly according to the client specified requirements. Once the system testing is done, then acceptance testing will be started. Okay, acceptance testing will be started. Acceptance testing or user acceptance testing UAT okay, will be started as part of acceptance testing we will first perform okay, we will first perform the alpha testing followed by the beta testing as I already mentioned acceptance testing is all about the main focus while performing the acceptance testing is we'll make sure okay, we'll make sure the developed software is according to the user needs and expectations or not that is main intention of performing the acceptance testing. Okay, after system testing is done, which is making sure that the developed software developed by the developers is according to the client specified requirements or not. Now in the acceptance testing, we are focusing more on whether the developed software is developed according to the user needs and expectations or not. Is matching the user needs and expectations or not is the main criteria here. And as part of that, I mentioned as part of acceptance testing, we will perform alpha testing and beta testing. First, we will perform alpha testing, followed by we will perform beta testing. In alpha testing, what will happen? Let me explain. Okay. In alpha testing, okay. So let's say to understand alpha testing, guys, uh, just go through my okay explanation here that I'm trying to do. Let's say there is a company like ABC company is there here. Okay. Let's say there is a company ABC. On the other side, there is another company XYZ. Okay. XYZ. So ABC company, okay, want want a software to be developed okay they got some requirements okay so they created some requirements so they have some they, they got an idea and uh, to implement that idea they have created some requirements okay so this is what software i want like that <clears throat> now this abc company has outsourced this software development and testing requirement to the another company say xyz in this xyz company we have the developers and testers available and uh, they are ready to Develop this uh, software according to the ABC client specified requirements. Okay, and also test according to the ABC client required uh, requirements specified. Wise, they want to test, and finally they want to deliver this software to the client so that client can release the software into the market. Fine. So here XYZ company is simply providing the development and testing services, and it's uh, getting the projects from this ABC company. Okay, and uh, fine. 
so what will happen here is uh, let's assume that a, a xyz company developers of the developers and testers of the xyz company have completed unit testing integration testing system testing and finally the time came where they have to perform user acceptance testing and they started performing the alpha testing okay they have to perform alpha testing now okay as part of acceptance testing they have to perform alpha testing what will happen here is what will happen is so here the testers will not directly perform the alpha testing okay so what happens is abc company has some people okay abc company will have some uh, professionals or people we can call employees or whatever it is who knows the business well okay who knows the business well some people from abc company who know the business well who are talking to the customers and all those people okay so for collecting the feedback from the customer right such kind of team will come up with a checklist okay they will come up with a checklist of what are the user needs and expectations kind of checklist and they will create this kind of checklist okay they will create this kind of checklist and this business uh, some business team from the abc company who knows the business well about this how the software needs and expectations are in the market such kind of team okay uh, technical team or business team you can call they will be coming with a checklist guys okay so this checklist this team will use to check whether the system tested okay to check whether the system tested software is according to the user needs and expectations or not they will check who will check this people will check the people from the abc company who know the business will business well will check so for checking this they either check it from their abc company or they will travel to this business team or technical team who know the business well team will travel to the developer site where the developers are available developers are available here okay they will travel to the developer site okay here are the developers wherever the developers are there they will travel and they will cross check this application according to this checklist business needs and expectations checklist to see whether the developed software is according to the user needs and expectations or not they will check so if anything is not matching okay if a particular uh, functionality in the software is not according to the user needs and expectations created by this okay uh, this business team of the abc company then this uh, this particular team will give the feedback to the team okay they will give the feedback to the team once the team receives once the developers and testers receive this feedback okay developer signed developers and testers are going to support this team okay support these people support these people in uh, by making that possible developers will according to the feedback they will do the code changes in the application software okay to make it according to the user needs and expectation developers will change the code here while testers also will support this uh, team by testing whether developers have properly tested according to the uh, this team specified feedback or not testers will perform testing so this is what will happen in alpha testing okay this is what will happen in case of alpha testing which is the first level in user acceptance testing okay first first type of uh, testing performed as part of user acceptance testing or acceptance testing is alpha testing so this is what is a process that happens guys okay so as i mentioned here in alpha testing guys uh, the team from the uh, client company who knows the business well will move to the developer side where the developers are available so after moving to the developer side they will provide the feedback after cross checking uh, with the user needs and expectations uh, of, after cross checking the software against the uh, user needs and expectations they will provide the feedback uh, to uh, by coming to the developer side they will provide the feedback and developers have to uh, do the code changes and uh, make the changes to the application code as per the given feedback while testing team has to test whether developers have really uh, you know right uh, modified the code according to the feedback given by the team from the the company okay business team from the company that's what happens and it is an internal team guys okay no external person is involved it's all about the internal company only okay the people from either abc company or xyz company are working here okay abc company xyz people are working here as part of the alpha testing but now once the alpha testing is done okay once the alpha testing is done still the process is not done guys okay still the process is not once the alpha testing is done still the process is there acceptance testing process is still there where the, we are going to perform the next uh, type of testing alpha after the alpha testing is beta testing we are going to perform okay what is beta testing how it is going to perform here also the intention is same guys okay here also the intention of performing the beta testing is same where the ultimate focus is on checking whether the developed software is according to the user needs and expectations to overcome that problem so here we'll choose a limited uh, end customer end users are real customers of the software right okay we'll choose a limited number of real 
software user, uh, software end customers or clients or whatever you can call. Okay, so let me give an example here how this happens in real time, how beta testing happens in real time. Everyone knows about the company known as Microsoft, right? Everyone knows the company Microsoft. Let's say there is a company. Let's say them will take an example of the Microsoft company. Microsoft company releases a lot of software into the market, right? The product based company and it uh, releases a lot of software into the market like uh, MS Office, uh, Windows operating system and so on. Let's take an example of Windows OS, okay? So Windows operating system has been released into the market in several versions so far, right? The latest version as per today's date I'm using is Windows 11 in my machine, right? So, so Windows uh, operating system has been released into the market by Microsoft uh, in several versions so far, like Windows 7 got released, after that Windows 8 got released, 8.1 got released, 10 got released, now 11 got released, they are planning for 12 as per today's date, okay? It has not been released as per today's date, and we are going to expect Windows 12 also soon. So anyhow, so here one thing you have to understand is Microsoft company will not release this Windows operating systems versions directly into the public. Okay, will not release the, without performing the, without performing the beta testing, Microsoft company is not going to release this Windows operating system versions into the market directly guys. Rather what Microsoft company will do is after the alpha testing is done, after this alpha testing is done, then this kind of companies, what they will do is they will release, for example, Windows 12 has to be released tomorrow. Let's say, assume that, Microsoft company is planning to release Windows 12 operating system into the market, Windows 12, which is not released yet. Let's say it's planning. So it will not release the final version of the software into the market directly. Instead, they will release a beta version of the Windows 12 first. Into the market, it will release Windows 12 beta. Into the market, they will release guys, but it's not the final version. It's the beta version they will release. And this beta version will not be given to all the public. All the public, uh, it will not be released. It will be only released to the limited, limited number of users okay limited limited end users it will release okay Li limited end users who are going to use the windows operating system right to those limited people only it will release this particular windows 12 tomorrow so what this limited end users will you will do they will upgrade their operating system to this windows 12 beta version and they keep using the application okay they will keep using the operating system to see the benefits and all whether they are liking or not okay they will check and if any of the end users face any problem or they have a problem with that, what these end users are going to do is they are going to feedback. Okay, on the latest uh, Windows operating system, they are going to provide the feedback. Is, okay, based on the feedback, Microsoft company, what the, it will do is it will, it will go through the feedback and see whatever they can do. And they will, again, the developers uh, will do the code changes uh, if the feedback is approved by the Microsoft company and testers will perform testing to cross check whether according to the uh, approved feedback, the developers have developed the software, uh, do, did the changes in the software or not, testers will will perform testing, okay? So once this uh, test uh, development and testing according to the feedback given by the limited end number of end users or end customers is done, then finally Microsoft will plan to release the final version of the software. After the beta testing is done, the final version of the, final version of the Windows 12 operating system will be released into the market. So hope guys you understood what is beta testing. In case of beta testing, who is performing the testing? It's not the internal team, okay? It's not the internal team guys. In case of beta testing, the real end users, the real end users are performing the testing, but not all the people across the world. Instead, limited end customers or end users are selected for this program and those people are going to perform the beta testing. After the beta testing is done, and once alpha testing and beta testing are successful and uh, approved, uh, where nothing is left out, no more feedback is left out, then the companies will decide to release the final version of the software into the market. And this is what is called as acceptance testing, where the ultimate focus is on the user needs and expectations, guys, okay? The ultimate focus in the acceptance testing or user acceptance testing is on the user needs and expectations. So hope, guys, you got the answer for this uh, interview question. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.